Hi everyone. Uh, just a quick overview of what's happened in the uh, previous few days. Uh, I got a new PCB panel what is uh, required for assembling a power supply. Uh, so we have here Arduino shield, auxiliary power supply and two power module for dual channel output. Uh, it's two, uh, two layer PCB. I also put here some uh, description of what is uh, on that connectors. Here you can see that Arduino board came here and the complete shield PCB it's uh, mounted directly on the front panel of, of the enclosure what I can show you a little bit later. Uh, I successfully assembled Arduino shield It looks like this. So this is the front side. Uh, here it's a binding post for two channels plus uh, earth. That, that's two connectors. It's for remote sensing, uh, digital trigger, some other stuff. Uh, here it's a 3.2 inch TFT color touch screen. A small power on off what we really don't need but okay I just put it for people who want to have some control on the on the front page uh, on the front panel. Uh, here it's reset button, but another possibility it's uh, to put a hole on the front panel to access directly reset on the Arduino board. Arduino board, it's uh, as you can see, it's a due. Uh, here we have a connector for uh, supplying a complete board with plus 5 volt. 3.3 uh, volt uh, regulator. Uh, here we have some. Uh, it's an Ethernet, uh, and this is a connectors for two power output. Uh, that two power output is completely isolated from the Arduino shield. We are using here a Silicon Labs digital isolator. The two small relays it's for remote sensing so that you don't need to do anything extra on the uh, on the front panel so it is it's under control to to choose do you want uh, internal or external remote sensing voltage remote sensing. Uh, the two uh, power relay uh, allows you to connect two channel outputs in a serial or in parallel. So in that case you can go with up to uh, 10 amps in parallel and up to 80 volts in serial. Okay. And uh, here we have assembled power module, so it's pretty nice. Everything it's in one place. It have only two connector, just one power connector, and from that uh, input power, it, it, it is possible to use uh, AC or DC. 
here we are using DC uh, power input. Uh, that small heat sink it's enough for up to 20 watts with fan cooling fan uh, assisted uh, cooling uh, for uh, main power MOSFET on the post regulator. You cannot see it but it, here you can see that it's a, it's a screwed and uh, that three terminals here it's power MOSFET. Uh, what we have here if you are using AC power input here you can put uh, four uh, diodes for the uh, for rectifying and two uh, elcos uh, that uh, you need to put it also on the other side. Idea is to leave this area uh, without any extra big components because the fan will be here so that we have a very nice flowing over power inductor, uh, power diode and power MOSFET of the switching, power, uh, switching pre-regulator. So what we have here is a switching pre-regulator, here it's small uh, bias for plus minus 5 uh, and mi minus 9 for uh, down programmer, down programmer it's here and control logic for uh, constant current it's here for the voltage is here, this is a digital section IO expander, ADC 4 channel and uh, this uh, voltage reference and here it's 2 channel digital to analog converter and everything what goes out it's provided all from that connector and uh, so idea is that with two of them you can go like this uh, so Here and another one goes here and here we can put ventilator and uh, for cooling and some holes for ventilation on on the top and on the bottom of so we have here like a, a a good tunnel for cooling the complete power stage. Okay.